In this Oxen Essentials video, we are going to be looking at the number of positive integer divisors of the following numbers, 60, 136, and 756. And the way we're going to do this, well, we see integer divisors, so we're going to look at the prime factorization of each of these, and remember, we're looking for positive integer divisors, so we're not going to be using any negative numbers in this. So let's look at the prime factorization for each of these. 60, so we know that 60 is 4 times 15, which we can also write as, we can also write that as 2 squared times 3 times 5, which is the prime factorization of 60. So a factor of 60 must be made up of some combination of these numbers over here. Like for example, a factor of 60 is 30, and one of the combinations we can choose from 2 squared times 3 times 5, we can choose 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 5, which would be 2 times 3 times 5, and 2 times 3 times 5 is 30. So we don't need to use all of the prime factors to create a factor of 60, but we can use a combination of factors, or a subset of factors, you could say. So we need to figure out, to figure out the number of ways we can do this, well, that's just figuring out how many combinations of factors we have. And this becomes a counting problem now. And let's see if we can notice a pattern. So the first, so the first step that we can do, the first step that we can do is we can list out how many ways are there to choose each one of these factors. So let's start with the 2 squared over here. You can choose zero factors of 2 in your, in your factor of 60. You can also choose one factor of 2, and you can choose two factors of 2. Now this is three ways to choose the number of factors of 2 that you want in your factor of 60. And we can do this similarly for 3 and 5. Now remember, this is actually 3 to the 1. This is 5 to the 1. So we can choose a 3 to the 0, and we can choose a 3 to the 1. Similarly, we can choose a 5 to the 0. We can choose a 5 to the 1. And these are all the, if you multiply the number of ways to do each of these, you'll get the total number of combinations. You have three ways to do this. You also have two ways to do this, and you have two ways to do this. So three ways to choose factors of 2, two ways to choose factors of 3, two ways to choose factors of 5, and this gives you 3 times 2 times 2, which is 12. And that will actually be our answer for this problem. We have found 12 combinations of the ways we can choose uh, a factor from this prime factorization. So let's see if we can notice a pattern from this. Let's see. When we have 2, we're actually just having that 1 and 2 here. So that's two combinations. But we're also adding the 2 to the 0 here. So let's think about this. Well, if you have, if you have a 2 to the n, then you'll include 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, Let's go all the way until 2 to the n. Now this, we know that the numbers from 1 to n is n numbers, so we know that this is simply n plus 1 numbers. So what does that mean? What does that suggest? Well, it suggests that these, the way we can figure out this, these 3, 2, and 2 over here is just add 1 to the exponent of each of these. 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2. So let's see if we can use this newfound knowledge to solve the other problems. 136 is divisible by 4. So the way we can divide it by 4, well, you just divide 100 by 4, which is 25. Divide 36 by 4, which is 9. 25 plus 9 is 34, which is divisible again by 2. So we know now, so far, is we have three factors of two, and we were we were left with we were left with thirty four when we divided by four just now, and we were left with thirty four, meaning that when we divided by two again to get this factor of eight, we have seventeen. 
over here. And I'll let this one just to make it clear what we're about to do. So let's see if we can do this without without using listing out all the numbers here. Well, let's see. We know that it's n plus 1, the number in the exponent. So let's take n is equal to 3. So we have four ways to choose a four ways to choose the factors of 2. Like, like we can choose 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, and that's four ways. And similarly, we can choose two, we have two ways to choose the factors of 17, 0 or 1. So we have 3 plus 1, 1 plus 1, and this is equal to 8, which is our next answer. And let's finally look at 756. So after some factorization, you may realize that, okay, this is divisible by 4, so we have 2 squared. And you may also realize afterward that this is also divisible by divisible by 7 and and 27 which is 3 cubed so this may take some factorization so let's see can we use the same thing in this way let's see so we have n plus 1 so that's 2 plus 1 is 3 this is an invisible 1 over here so 1 plus 1 is 2 and we have an we have a 3 over here so that's 3 plus 1, which is 4. 3 times 2 times 4 is 24. And that's our final answer for the each of these problems over here. So I hope you found it interesting. We used, we used some different areas of subjects. First, we prime factorized each of these numbers. And then we looked at ways to find a pattern to count the number of ways we can choose a factor. So I hope that was interesting.